How's it going guys? And welcome back to another JHR review. Today we're going to be looking at these Pokemon wafer cookies. And I don't just have one. I got two of these guys because there are some stickers inside of here. And I wanted to see if I could get different ones. Let's take a quick look at this packaging before we kind of dig into tasting this. So this is by Latte or Lotte. And it says Pocket Monsters with a nice depiction of Charizard, Blastoise, and Venusaur on the front. A little bit of flames on the side right there. Side has some information on it in Japanese. And then in the back right here, let's go ahead and focus in. It says that there is six grams of carbohydrates in one and a half pieces. So half of this is six carbs. Not too bad. Go ahead and zoom in right there. So this is a wafer bar and it looks as though it is made with wheat. If you want to pause right there and kind of look at the ingredients right there you can. Go ahead and move it away. I really like the shiny kind of vibrant packaging on here. It's probably one of the main reasons I saw these is because the packaging is just so nice kind of has that retro Pokemon feel to it with all these starters right here. Let's go ahead and open this up, see what sticker we got, and then give it a bit of a try. And then we'll also open this guy up over here and see if we got a different sticker. Let's do it. what the inside looks like. I'm just slide it out. Looks like it comes on some kind of little tray. Let's see what uh, sticker we got. And oh nice. I really like this Pokemon. I can't quite remember the name of it though. I can't believe I can't remember the name. It's one of my fiance's favorite ones, so she'll be really happy that we got it. And this is what the back looks like. But I want to take a closer look at this because the glitter on here is just really, really cool. Kind of holographic. That looks good. Look at that. It has some stars in the background. And when you move it really slow, you can kind of get that nice, kind of shiny holographic effect. And it says number 20. And Pocket Monsters, Nintendo. And of course the back you saw before has uh, Blastoise on it, but I'm not sure the name of that one. I can't remember. Is it? That's not Typhlosion. No, that's, that's wrong. I can't remember the name of this one. You know, I was really into Pokemon as a kid, but man, I feel like my brain just dumped all the names out of my head sometimes. There we go. And here is the wafer. Let's go ahead and focus in right there. Looks like we have a very thick chocolatey center all the way around. And it kind of has that uh, waffly cone kind of look to it. Let's go ahead and try it out. Hmm. Now it's good, but it's a lot less rich than I thought it would be. And it's interesting because there's actually these little kind of chasms in here. These little tiny little nooks and crannies hold these larger pieces of chocolate. It's not like a thin, evenly distributed kind of layer. They're all kind of like wedged in between here. So I was kind of surprised to feel that in my mouth, but it's really good. Let's break it apart and see if we can't show you a little closer. Yeah, there we go. So as you can see right there, if we zoom in, focus in, you can see it takes the shape of the inside right here. Kind of like little diamonds. 
Pretty cool stuff. I'd rate this for me personally. Let's get this all out of the way. Probably around a seven out of 10 for flavor. I like really light tasting things as well as rich tasting things. I think that this would be really good paired with coffee or tea. Let's go ahead and open this one up. And I'm not going to be eating this one, so we're just going to slide the sticker out and see if we got a different one, all right? Come on. Get out of there. All the crumbs are making it slippery. I'll set that to the side. I'll give that to my fiance. I'm sure she'll enjoy it. Ah, check it out. A Pokemon I can actually remember the name for. Pikachu. I'm joking. I'm joking. Don't cringe too hard. Eevee. Very cute expression. Oh, wow. I didn't realize it changed that much. So when you move it down, it almost looks like the who's that Pokemon thing behind them. That's really cool. And the stars kind of pop out. How cool is that? Let's see if the other one does that too. It does. How cool is that? They both kind of have that effect going on. So these are the two stickers that I got, and I'm going to give them both to my fiance. And I think the kind of cookie wafer is, like I said, about a 7 out of 10. Definitely needs to be paired with something, not something I'd buy just to eat by itself. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And uh, a huge shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are awesome. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.